Good day, YouTubers. It's the Baccarat Man here. <clears throat> I was asked to do a demo on my money management system. Um, so I'll do it with the last video I made, which was uh, yesterday. The fixed, the fixed bet. So I'll use that. And by the way, I've been informed by a subscriber that there is a channel, a gambling channel, <clears throat> that is copying my material. Anyway, I looked into it and I went on this channel and sure enough I saw a, a video that is practically identical to my opposite and same strategy. Um, whether that's a coincidence or not, I uh, can't be 100% sure, but the way he lays out the bet selection is identical. Identical to the way I do it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, um, it could happen possibly, but um, I'll be watching out for any further copies, if there's any more copying on my methods. But I need to just stress that I've been in the gambling game for over 30 years and all my material that I've put on this channel, this channel that I started, I can guarantee you that it's all original to me. Whether there's identical copies of the same thing, I can't say. Uh, I've taught myself through my experience. So everything that I, all my systems are through my personal experience and how I look at the game. Whether anybody else has done it or not, I wouldn't know, but it is possible. But um, I looked at that video and it's practically identical to the way I do a bit selection. So I won't uh, reveal the channel as yet. But if it happens any further, I will reveal the channel. But um, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm just going to do what I do and leave it at that. Um, so it's actually a compliment if someone copies me <laughs> and takes credit for it. <laughs> well, good luck to him. Anyway, I just thought I'd just let you guys know that everything that I do on this channel is original to me. I've never got it from anybody else. Okay, so um, that's that. Anyway, um, back to the money management, and we'll use the um, uh, fixed bet strategy that I just posted yesterday. So yeah, we we start. We always start in the fixed bet. We always start. We can you can start at the beginning of a shoe, or you can start. 40 hands or 30 hands uh, it depends you know and another thing too is I don't win my unit and and, and leave the shoe which I described in the video uh, this particular system you can play for your target of five units or three units or ten units like me I would have no problem trying to reach my ten units on this system um, okay so I think I explained the reason why I, I win my unit and move is because I win a unit and then I go to another shoe and then I look at the the patterns and I see or well, the trend and see if I can fall in with a trend. Doesn't always go well, but that's the way I play. All right, so I did explain it in the video. Anyway, so let's get on with this. So we'll go with a hundred dollar bet and. Uh, I always start off with the banker, then player, then banker for the three fixed bets. Okay, then after that, if we go, we lose, we move to a new, we wait for a new column. Um, so we play out the whole column. So if we lose three bets, we stop there in the third row. Okay, and we play the other three. So if you're on a chop or of uh, 
banker player, banker player, banker player, or terrible twos, or a, a two and one, two and one. That can probably destroy the system. So just look in your big road here for those type of chops. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it because it's a pretty solid system. I like it. And don't ever play the Martingale. <laughs> Rather use my conservative betting strategy or use the DL and Bird or use Fibonacci. The Fibonacci will work well on this. I might do a video on that. Um, the D. Allen Burt, I gave the, uh, the video that betting strategy I used uh, when I posted that one. So we'll use my conservative one here. Okay, so the first bet will be banker. Okay. And we lose that. So what I do on a loss. I wait for another loss. I always play two losses and then I'll go into, then I'll increase. Okay. So we, we're down to nine, uh, ten, uh, nine, nine now. Okay. Nine, ninety, I mean, you're nine hundred. So we're down one unit. Okay. So we'll play another one and we just play one unit. And now we go to player, which is the next bit. So we go to player on one. That's a tie. Under the tie, we just play a game. Then we win that. Okay. So we back up again. All right. So now we just play one unit again. All right. But now, what happens is we got our win. So we got to play. One, two, three, four free hands. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now, oh my goodness me. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Sorry, guys. I'm... Damn it. Okay, so we still play banker. All right. Even though if that's a tie, we'll just still play banker. So we put one unit on banker. And we win that. Okay. So we're up one unit. Um, so now um, we've got to play one, two, three, four. Okay, let's hope I get it right this time. <laughs> Okay, one, two, let me just check, <laughs> yeah, one more hand, okay, now we play banker, okay, that's the first bit, banker, player, banker, that's how we play, so it's banker, and we lose that, okay. So now we play player, put one on player. So we don't increase yet. We play we two losses, then we'll increase by one unit. Okay. And we win that. And we still play one unit. We don't increase. Okay. And we've got to play four hands. Three hands. Four free hands <laughs> one more okay now remember we always start at the beginning of a square on a, a new column um, someone asked me about the tiles okay look it doesn't matter the tiles make no difference we just if we hit a tile we play a game if we got a bet on a bet on and we a tar hits we just play again so we won't let the tars interfere with our game so we just wait for a new a new column and a and the first square we always start there all right okay so we're going to go banker now one bit one unit on banker and we lose that so we lose we bet 
one unit again and it will be on player and we win that so we still bet one one unit okay and we we, we in profit and we got four free hands to play we don't worry about the tie we don't let the tie interfere with the game okay Got one more. A lot of tires in this uh, shoe, eh? Okay, so we go banker. So we're still in profit. So we go one on banker. It's a tire. My goodness me, a lot of tires. And we win that. Okay. So we, we're in good profit there. Remember, we. After one unit, I don't leave the shoe, I carry on playing and I go for maybe five to ten, ten units depending on how it's going. If I get into a heavy uh, progression, then I'll call it a day when I'm happy. Um, but if it just flows win after win, win after win, then I'll go for five to ten units, okay, in this particular strategy, not like my other strategies, all right, guys? Okay. So we've got four free hands to play. And we're still in big good profit there. You just check. <laughs> One more hand. Okay, so we go banker now. One on banker. And we win that. So we we two eighty five in profit. So we're gonna play four hands, five hands. Sorry. Okay. So now we go banker. One on banker. And we win that. Lovely. Okay, so uh, we're 380 now in profit. Um, so we got a five, hand, five free hands, eh? Yeah, five free hands. One, two, Oh. Okay, you go banker. You can also play player, banker, player, but I always, always use banker, player, banker. I've always, I've never really played player, um, banker, player. I've tested it, and it's wor it works just as well. But I just stick with what I started with when I first uh, originated this uh, strategy. Okay, so we're going to go with Banker. So we lost that. So we put one, put one on player. Remember two losses before we increase. And we win that. So we still keep it to one unit. We go back down to one unit. Uh, we are, we are on 380 still, okay? Which was our last number. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four. Four free hands to play. One, two, three, four. Okay, one on banker. And we lose that. Um, we put one on banker now. That's the next bit. And we lose that. So we're down to 180 now. Now we increase. But we've lost... Um, 
let's carry on till a new column Okay, we're going to put two, two on a um, banker. Okay, we're at the top of a column. We put two on banker. And we win that. So now when you win the two, you go back down to, to one unit. Okay. So we're 370 in profit now. So we've got to play five hands, three hands. Okay, so it's a new column, top square. Okay, so put one on banker. And we lose that. Um, so now we go one one on unit on player. And we play that. And we win that. So now we won that. So we're back to 370. So we play one unit again. Okay. And we've got four hands to play. So we go one unit on banker. We do set. So we go one unit on player. And we win that. So we back to three seventy. And we've got four free hands to play. One more. Okay, we go to banker. So we put one on banker. And we lose that. So we're down to 270. So we put one put on one on player. So it's two losses, eh? We stay with one unit. We don't increase it. Only after two we, we increase. Okay? So two losses. And we do set. Okay, good. So now we're down to 170. So now we put two units on the next bit. Okay. So that'll be on banker. And we win that. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're not back to 370, but we're back to 360. Okay. And we've got three ha free hands to play. Okay. So now back in a new column and it's uh, one unit we haven't gone above two units yet <laughs> so time after time we, we just play the same bit again it's a time oh my goodness we're at the end of the shoe uh, and i haven't we haven't even got into a progression here yet. Um, the thing is, and the video gets a bit too long. Um, but look, let's go. Let's, let's carry on. Um, let's play this hand and get the shoe a new shoe. Okay, they've got a new shoe. So 
be 360 okay so let's go with the new shoe and we go with banker it's a tie tie we just play the better game we lose that so we're down to 260 now and we put one one on player and we lose that so we're down to 160 so our next bet is two units now oops uh, and now okay two units and we got put that on banker so we have three losses and that's it we we find a new column after this if we lose this we move to a new column and if we win this we move to a new column and we win that so we back up to 350 now and we've got two free hands to play okay so now we go back to banker and we win that so we're 445 now that's the highest we've been and we've got five free hands to play let me just check <laughs> one more hand to play Okay, so there's our new column. We bit banker. And we do set. So we play one unit next. So we're 345 now. We lost that, so we go player now, one unit. Next bit will be on banker if we lose this. Oh, we won it. So we 445 now, we're back again back in the game so we've got four hands to play three hands okay so we've got banker to play now that's our system banker player bank player banker player banker <laughs> Okay, so we've got one unit there, and we lose that. So we back down to 345. So we put one unit on player. So we two losses, we stay with one unit. Okay, after two losses, then we increase. And we win that. So we back to 445. And we've got four free hands to play. The thing is with the system, this money management system, it can be like a yo-yo, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. But trust me, it's a, it's one of the safest ways I've ever played. I've got one more hand to play. And you do get into hot water and you know, you just gotta be very, very careful and be alert. And know when to stop and have the discipline to stop as well you know don't let the greed factor in us humans get the better of us that is the problem so we're going to go we're back to 445 so we just put one on banker that's our usual bet and we get it so we power 40 now that's the highest we've been and we've got uh, five hands to play Three hands. And if you see a uh, our big road, uh, it's got nothing to do with this strategy we play at all. It's not based on anything in this. Yeah, it's just a fixed bet. Just keep that in mind. But there are times where a chop of certain elements can can destroy it. 
Let me just check that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> One more hand. Okay, go to banker. One unit. And we win that. So we had our highest now. 635. And uh, we've got five free hands to play. Let me just check. <laughs> One more hand. Okay, so we go banker. One on banker. 635. And we win there. So we're on 730 now. And we're still on one unit. Okay. And we've got five free hands to play. Okay, so we put one on banker. We lose that. Yay, we lost. <laughs> 630 now. So now we go one on player, two losses, we stay on one. And we lose that. So we're back down to 530 now. So we lost two in a row. So after two in a row losses, we put two on banker. Uh, third and last bet, okay. Um, half 30, eh? Okay, let's see what happens, yeah. And we won it. <laughs> okay. We're up to 720 now. Um, three free hands to play. My oh, goodness, we're doing very well. Okay, new column. Back to one unit. And we lose that. So we still play one unit. And we're down to 620. And that goes on player. And we lose that. So now we go to two units. And we're down to 520 now. And that goes on, two units goes on banker, our last bet. Okay. And we lose that. So we're down to 320 now. Now, this is where we go up. So we've lost on two units. So we go up three units the next bit. So let's see how many hands we've got to play. We've got three hands to play. Uh, let's just go back here. Yeah. I'm just looking. Yeah, I see. See the chop here. We had a streak there and then the, the chop here. Yeah. But anyway, not to worry. more hand and we go three on banker that's the highest we've been in nearly two and a half shoes <laughs> I wanted to go south so we can I can show you how the strategy works okay so that's three so we've lost that so we're down to 20 10,020. <laughs> so we're still in profit. Okay, so now we go to we go to four now. Okay. We still go up. And I'll show you. So that goes four on player. So time, we replay a time. And we win that. So we're down to 420. Okay, so 
if we'd lost the four, I just want to let you know, we go up to five. And that's, that's the max I go, to five. And that's where I incorporate the recovery mode, which I'm hoping is going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And then I'll show you the recovery mode. Okay. So we go, we only go as far, four as, as far as five units. Okay. So where are we in this game? Okay, we've got another three hands to play. Got one more. Okay, if you look at the bankroll, we fought twenty. And our highest there was um, six twenty. So we've got we 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 were on four units. So realistically we go down to three. But to be conservative if we go down to two units, it will bring us back close to our 620. Okay, so we'll start on two units just to be on the safe side. It's supposed to be three because when you win on the four, you go back down. Okay, right, so let's put two on bank. That's what I would do in a real life play, okay? I wouldn't use the three units up to go on back on two. Always play safe. See, and we lost it. We would have lost three units. So we go back we back up to three units now on player. And we win that. So we're on 520 again. So we just need 520. We just need one unit to get back to 620. So we're on three units. So normally now we, we're supposed to go back to two units. We drop down, you know, from the three down to two and down to one. So let's go with one unit to play safe. Okay. If you want to be aggressive, you can play the two units and it'll put you straight into more, a more profit. Okay, but I don't play like that. I'm showing you how I play in real life. Okay. Now, where were we? Too much talking. Okay, so we gotta we gotta play. <laughs> I'm losing my touch. <laughs> four four free hands. And instead of playing two units, we're gonna play one. One more to go, and then we play banker. Okay, we play one on banker. That's a tie, we replay. It's a tie. And we win that. So we're up to 615 now. So we're just five short of 6.20. Seven, sorry, 7.20 was our highest. What am I talking about? Sorry, guys. 7.20 was our highest. Okay. But anyway, look, still in good profit, eh? Um, yeah, we would have had to... I would have still played like this anyway. All right. But it was 7.20, so we're going to get back to 7.20. Sorry, guys. So we've got th three more hands to play. Too much talking. <laughs> it's hard to explain and play at the same time. Uh, okay, so a lot of ties here, goodness me. So we put one on banker. Start on one unit. And we win there. So now we're on 7.10. So we're 10 short of our, our previous profit. Okay, five hands. One 
one more hand. Okay, so I put uh, one on banker. And we lose that. And we play one, one unit again. So we're back down to 6.10 now. We're going to try and get back to our 7.20, which was our original profit. <laughs> Okay, so that's one on, on player. And we lose that. Okay, now we go to two. And we're down to five, ten. Five, ten. So we've got two on banker. And we lose it. And that's the end of the shoe. Goodness me. Okay, after playing two shoes, playing the conservative money management, we're up 310 units. We were up, we were up 7, 720. Okay, so uh, I don't want to play another shoe, guys. This video will be too long. It just shows you how safe the conservative bidding strategy is. Um, let me explain to you, when we, when we get to five, so after two losses, you play for two losses, and then you increase to two. And if you lose the two, you increase to three. If you lose the three, you increase to four. If you lose the four, you increase to five. And as you go up, say, you are on four, and you won on the four, you go down to three. And if you win the three, you go back down to two. It's up to you to see what your bankroll is and how much you really need to come back to even to where you were before. Okay? So when you get to five, that's my stop. Uh, part of the strategy where I stop and I start and I rethink about whether I'm going to pull out, if that's my stop loss, or if I'm going to carry on playing and go into recovery mode. Because now we've got to recover. So what I do is, um, when I get to five, um, so if you lost on the four and then you lost on the five, that's two losses. So after every two, two losses, then we drop down a unit. Okay? So after that, so for instance, if we played four units, we lost that. Then we went up to five and we lost the five. So that's, we count that as two losses. So going forward, every two losses, we drop down. Okay. So we lost, so we lost on the four, we lost on the five. So there's two losses, so we were on the five, so then we drop back to four. And then we go again. If we do two losses, we drop down to three. Okay. And then, let's just say we, we lost on, on the four, And then we, we go to five, and then we win on the five. And if we win the five again, you, then you play two wins, and then you, you increase by one after two wins. Okay? So it's like a positive bet. You go from a negative bet into a positive bet. All right, so at that stage from, from the five units, Two losses, you drop down a unit. And two wins, you go up a unit. Okay. Then the other the other scenario that we get will be you'll get a say you're on the four, and then you get a win. Okay. And then you get a loss. And then you get a win. And then you get a loss. So if you get a, a loss. And then a win, and then a, a loss, and then a win, and then a loss. On the last loss, if you look back, if you've had loss, win, loss, win. So there would be two losses in those four bets. So in four bets, if you have two losses, you don't increase or decrease. You stay at the same level of what you're using. So if you're on five, then you stay... And your last bet was five. 
okay, because after a loss you've got to increase now. So just say you were on four and you had win, loss, win, and the win was on four, okay, so now you, you don't, and then you have a loss, okay, so now you, you never had two wins, so you don't increase, so you, whatever you were on, on the loss, the last loss, you stay on that, that, that unit size, okay, and you bet that twice, again, until, until you increase, alright, so it's always two wins, so I hope you understand that guys, alright, if, if you don't, just email me, and I can do some personal examples for you, okay, on paper, um, to get into the nitty gritties of it, but I'm sure what I've explained is quite understandable, alright, and remember guys, everything that I've created on this this, this channel, this Baccarat channel, is all my my experience, okay? And uh, I've never copied anybody and I've learned all, all this on my own over the 30 years, alright? Just keep that in mind. If anyone copies me, good luck to them. <laughs> yeah, alright. So if you see anything that's identical to mine, just look at the date when that video was done and you can look at my videos. I mean this video that I looked at um, yesterday. It was done. He says, never seen before system. <laughs> and the day after I posted my video, his video was on. So come on, really? <laughs> so I don't know. Whether, whether that's a coincidence or not, who knows? Only he knows. <laughs> and I hope he's and if he is if he is copying me and he's watching this video, I hope he's listening. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe, it's for free. <laughs> you don't pay anything. Alright. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.